Our next story is about an award-winning musician and producer who has collaborated with artists like Quincy Jones, Bob Geldof, Sinead O'Connor. But his journeys to success had humble beginnings. Susan Hay is here with more. Susan. I can't wait to share this story tonight. Now, Chris Burkett has earned four Junos, a Grammy, and three International Golden Reel Awards for excellence in the music business. Not bad for someone who lived on the streets of London, England, in his youth. Today, Chris and his family are living in Toronto, and he's recently written and released a song to shine a light on the growing issue of homelessness in our city. Chris Burkett is a multi-talented, award-winning producer, singer, songwriter, and composer. He's from a little town just southwest of London, England, and said he grew up poor, but that didn't stop him from doing what he loved. I had this desperate urge to play music, but I had no instruments. I got some banjo strings from a friend, and I built my first guitar from pieces of wood the garbage and that's how I started playing. He eventually moved to London, played in a local band, but it wasn't easy. His life was full of crossroads, got a job pumping gas, then one night he got a break. A guy came in and said, are you Chris Burkett, the guitar player? We have an 18 months tour of Germany and would you like to come? I said, I'd love to. And the rest, as they say, is history. I came back from Germany. I joined a band called Love Affair who just had a massive hit with Everlasting Love. Open up your eyes, then you'll be alive. I remember that song. <laughs> the bass player of that band introduced me to two guys who've just been signed by Tony Visconti, David Bowie's producer. He got his first major record deal and signed a multi-album contract with Tony. And it was Tony that became my mentor and got me interested in producing records. He collaborated with A-list international artists like Bob Geldof, Quincy Jones and Sinead O'Connor. Nothing compares to you, was the Prince song, and it was number one in every country of the world. His London studio was rated number two in the world, and at the same time, his own single, Where Do We Go From Here, was selected to play alongside U2, Peter Gabriel, Bob Marley, Tears for Fears, and Queen on the One Voice, One Love album. You're a celebrated artist with numerous awards, including four Junos, a Grammy, but life wasn't always that good. No, I started off as a homeless person in the streets of London. At some point in time, I was I actually felt suicidal, you know, but it was my passion for music that always carried me through. Earlier this month, Chris received a community recognition award for his song, Everyone Deserves a Home. Open the door. Shining a light on the issue of homelessness in Toronto. It's a human right. I want as many people as possible to hear this song. In this city, we need affordable housing. I've seen homeless person transformed when they were given a place to live. Can music help change the world, especially now? Yes, absolutely. It cuts across political boundaries, race, culture. It touches the heart. And with all of his success, I have to say he is the kindest man I have met in a very long time. It was remarkable, and, and what a body of work as well. And just keeps going, right? He said yeah. when he moved here in 2012, he got married, and he couldn't believe what he was seeing on the streets. And he said it just worsened after the pandemic. You know, he saw it in London, England, didn't expect to see it here. Hmm. And so he's raising an awareness through this song.